Using a set of wrenches, remove the hydraulic hose from the bleed down valve. Remove the gland nut from the collar at the high pressure port and the gland nut connection from the water drain tubing to the bleed down valve. Using a vise and a wrench, remove all the hydraulic fittings from the actuator housing and disconnect the actuator from the high pressure valve assembly. Next, remove the adapter from the bleed down valve body. Then remove and discard the high pressure seat. Using the enclosed wooden dowel, remove all the internal components from the bleed down valve body as demonstrated here. Using the wooden dowel, push the piston pin out of the actuator housing through the oil port. Discard the O-ring and backup ring from the piston. As a note, use a small metal pick to remove the backup seal as shown here. Before reassembly, make sure to clean all parts before the new parts are inserted. Inspect all components of the bleed down valve for wear or damage. Lubricate the new O-ring and backup ring with O-ring grease. Insert the new backup ring with the cup side facing up. After lubricating the O-ring, flip the piston over and gently roll the O-ring onto the piston. Make sure that the O-ring is positioned directly underneath the backup ring. Lubricate the inside of the actuator body with a thin film of O-ring grease. Install the piston assembly carefully into the actuator body. Firmly press the piston assembly into the actuator body until it is seated. Inspect the inside of the actuator body to make sure that the O-ring has not become dislodged from the piston. Apply O-ring grease to the threads on the actuator housing and to the threads on the hydraulic fitting and securely attach the hydraulic fitting to the actuator housing. Insert the flow reducer into the outlet adapter and apply a thin layer of blue goop to the contact face of the outlet adapter as well as the threads. Place the seat on the outlet adapter and apply blue goop. Thread the adapter into the valve body. Using a wrench and a vise, Tighten the adapter, loosen, and tighten again to ensure a perfect seat. Place the stem flat side out into the backup screw. Make sure the pointed end of the stem is facing up. Place the stem bushing, hoop, and seal on the stem in the order shown here. Make sure that the sharp side of the hoop is facing up and the cone side of the seal is facing down. As a note, the seal should fit into the hoop's sharp side. Use high pressure lubricant to lubricate the OD of the seal and O-ring before they are inserted into the valve body. Apply a small amount of grease to the inside of the valve body. Insert the assembly into the valve body and press into place. Once fully inserted, make sure that the O-ring has not slipped off the seal. Apply blue goop to the threads of the backup screw and tighten into the valve body with a 516 socket tool. Apply blue goop to the threads of the valve body and secure the valve body to the actuator housing. Reinstall the bleed down valve in the machine by attaching the gland nut to the high pressure collar at the high pressure port of the valve.
Install the gland nut connecting the water drain tubing to the bleed down valve. Reattach the hydraulic hose to the oil port of the bleed down valve.